What is undermining the experience uh, of young people with our democracy? Um, what underwhelms um, young people uh, about Freedom Day is that we were told that education is the key to success. Yet today, you've got 360,000 graduates who are unemployed. Uh, we were told that in 1994 was a declaration of freedom for our country. But what we've discovered is that when uh, President Mandela tells, that, tells us that the struggle continues, uh, our country chose to be pacified when we were told we have freedom. We don't have um, freedom. We have a form of freedom, which is political freedom, freedom of movement, freedom of speech, etc. But what we still need to understand as young people in 2023 is that there's a baton that has been handed to us by those who fought and laid down their lives for us to have this political freedom that we enjoy today. We have got a responsibility to ensure that we take the means of production of our country into our hands. And we need to make sure that the mineral resources that were handed over uh, by our forefathers are used correctly. We cannot accept a situation where our mineral resources do not benefit us and they are shipped outside of the country continuously. We are saying that as the ANC League, we need to still have the land debate and everything in on this earth happens on land. Even for someone to say they don't want land, they have to say that on land. So we must have a conversation about how we can be given back the land so that we can produce our own food. And the attitude that we need to adopt as young people, we need to stop being armchair revolutionaries where we complain at the, all, all the time. We need to learn from the generation of President Tambo, who instead of complaining, they took the baton and they ensured that they wage the fight and bring solutions. So yeah. I choose uh, in 2023, after 29 years of freedom, to be part of the solution as opposed to complaining to government. Yeah. The handouts from government are not going to end unemployment.